Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about change in velocity. All right, change in velocity. The change in velocity from final minus initial can be described as v minus v naught. The units for change in velocity is the same as velocity. Graphically, let's look at a vt graph, so a velocity time graph, where velocity is in meters per second and time is in second. You did a experiment and you collected some data and so you draw a line and you realize that k is your slope. Just like every other time we have a linear relationship between two things, we want to find slope. We understand that slope is the rise over run. We recognize that this is the change in velocity over the change in time for this specific uh, setup, so the, your real world equation. This says, and so I recognize that this definition is acceleration. And so I can express acceleration mathematically as A equals delta V over delta T. This is acceleration. And the units for acceleration, I can write this another way. So my change in velocity over a given amount of time is acceleration as expressed in the equation A equals delta V over delta T. Now just like with change in position, this doesn't express all of the things that I might want to know. I might want to know what was my starting velocity? What was my final velocity? How long did it take me to go from this velocity to that velocity? And so we're going to unpack this. The delta means change, and so I've got the final minus initial velocities and the final minus initial times. Just like with change in position, our time is usually zero, and so it goes away. I'm going to rewrite this as A equals V minus V naught over T. And then I'll do the same mathematical uh, flip-flopping that I did with change in position. Multiply both sides by T. And then I'm going to add that naught term over. So AT plus V naught equals V. And again, we usually see it written the other way around. This is your second kinematic equation. So because velocity is a vector, it has magnitude and direction. And so what that means is that I can have three different kinds of vector or three different kinds of velocity change. Velocity can get faster, velocity can get slower, or velocity can change directions. So if V gains magnitude, we say that it's speeding up. And if that speeded up, my acceleration would be positive. V can lose magnitude we would say that it's slowing down. And if it was slowing down, A would be negative. As V changes direction, we would say it's turning. And so A, the direction will vary. So what this does is we talk about how the velocity would change. It would gain magnitude, lose magnitude, or change direction. There's three different ways that the velocity can change. Well, what we're really saying is that that's three different accelerations. There are three types of acceleration. Now, there's a thing that we'll talk about later on. It's called a frame of reference. This inertial frame of reference, or a Newtonian frame of reference, um, if you're accelerating 
then you don't have an inertial frame of reference. And that means that some of the laws that Newton put down are going to behave oddly. And we have to deal with those in different ways. Now I'm not going to write the problem solving steps again, but you know them, so you follow along with me. Daredevil David likes to race cars at the salt flats. His car can go from rest to 50 meters per second in only three seconds. What is the acceleration of his car? Okay, so draw a picture. His car goes from rest to 50 meters per second. And so my velocity is 50 meters per second. And my initial velocity, rest, you have to understand that rest is zero. So it's implied that he starts from a velocity of zero. And then he increases his speed to 50 meters per second. And they give us a time increment of three seconds. what is the acceleration of his car okay so next we collect variables v naught was zero v is 50 t was three seconds and a is what we're looking for now you have two kinematic equations to choose from Which one makes the most sense, equation one or equation two? Well, when you're looking at the different velocities, there's no different velocities in that first equation, so we're gonna have to go with the second equation. And so V equals V naught plus AT is my equation. I need to put this in terms of A, and so V minus V naught over T is equal to a. I've skipped a few steps in here. And then the next is I'm going to plug in my numbers, checking for any conversions. I've got seconds, meters per second, and acceleration will end up being in meters per second squared. And so all my units are good. And so I'm going to come plug them in. So I got 50 minus 0 over 3 is equal to a. So that becomes 50 divided by 3 which is 16.7 meters per second squared. Well, that's it. So far we've covered the change in position and we derived the position kinematic equation and then we talked about the change in velocity and then we derived the velocity, change in velocity kinematic equation. All right, thank you.